Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Yes, today's video is on the Acura navigation system upgrade. This is done on the Acura TL, however, it's similar to other Acura and Honda vehicles as well. So this particular one, they say you want to get the CD, DVD actually, and you go to the system device information menu. That's item over here, and they're going to send you a DVD set. In my case, it's a purple DVD set, and it's currently at 10.B0. I want to upgrade to 10.D0. So once you get that, it has a special paper with a special code that basically you need to input, uh, matching your device ID and the VIN number. So once you get the DVD, in this case, it's the purple one. You put the first disc in. Once you put it in, the system will read it and actually reboot it. Once you reboot, keep in mind, there's two types of upgrade when you're doing this later on. There's a full power and a background mode. The full power is uh, disruptive and you know, but it finishes in two hours. It will show unsupported, so that's normal. So once you reboot, it's gonna load the application piece in the system. And it's preferable that you don't drive your vehicle while you're doing this upgrade um, for safety purposes. Your hands-free will not work. Your radio then does not work also when it's doing the application upgrade and now it's reading the the media which is the DVD from your regular DVD system so this takes a little while to actually load so you can be patient for me uh, I'm gonna go film and stop the camera and film again and also I have an assistant to help me out uh, filming from my uh, back seat So it's gonna load all the way to 100% before you know, it goes through uh, the two hour upgrade. So you have to be very patient when you do this thing. And you're also gonna lose your uh, previous locations. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> if you had a location there that you really wanted to save, you might wanna write it down ahead of time before you do this upgrade. So that's something to consider. The hands-free, your Bluetooth, will not work during this application upgrade piece. However, when you start doing the, 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 the second CD, DVD, then uh, basically uh, you still could use um, the radio and that will work fine. So you, you see that message gonna come up pretty soon. So it's basically loading the application right now. It's gonna go all the way to 100%. Uh, I just wanna skip ahead a little bit. Notice I'm not doing sequential. There it goes. Then it's going to restart. Once it restart, then it tells you you're going to lose your previous destination and your uh, hard drive search and everything's back. And it's low for two hours. I already inputted the security keys to unlock it. And I'm doing two hours still. I have my assistant filming me in the, uh, in the second row. And once it's almost finished, it's gonna reboot and see if we capture that. Okay, it's restarting. It will restart more than once, so keep that in mind. Be patient with it. And it's gonna load all the way. It did take me uh, more than, a little bit more than two hours, that's what I felt like. <clears throat> I didn't really kill exact time. So, the system's gonna reboot after it's finished. So once you reboot it, then you can log back in, it tells you it's updated, go to check the version, other, tap to the right, system device info, and that's it, that's your version. And thumbs, thumbs up please, I hope you liked the video, and that's how simple it is to do the upgrade. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.